Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome for welcome to Get Fit Where You Sit. My name is Brittany Washington, and I'm super excited to get started with you all today. Um, so again, there is no warm up or cool down for this Get Fit Where You Sit. So definitely for the first round or so, please make sure you take your time. You can use it as a warm up for the first round of the exercise. So use it as a warm up. Um, other than that, uh, definitely go at your pace. But it's, we're going to make sure that we get a good workout in. Again, it's only 15 minutes, so this is a good time to take a break from where you are. Um, just take some time to, to focus on you a little bit. So what I have today, forget fit where you sit. Of course, I have a chair, um, and I also have a variety of weights, light to um, moderate, light to moderate weight. And But the first exercise we will not need. Um, we will not need any weights at all. You're just going to need yourself and the chair. So with no further ado, guys, we're going to start. We're going to start in getting that heart rate up. So we are. Um, I'll be showing you, of course, progressions um, and regressions or modifications. We are starting with a plank jack. Oh, yes, we are starting with a plank jack. So what we're going to do. We're going to take it to more of an elevated surface, elevated plank, hands directly underneath the shoulders. All we're doing here, pushing the feet out and popping it back in. You want to keep a nice neutral spine. Be sure not to trip over your equipment. More modified, single taps. All right, here we go. And we're going for 30 seconds a piece. Let's get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. You want to breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Again, you're modified. You want to take it one step at a time. Keep those hips forward. Keep that core engaged. Already halfway in. Hands directly underneath the shoulders. And three, two, one. And rest. Okay. Take a break. A few seconds of rest and then we're going to do that same thing one more time we'll do it again <laughs> here we go and three two one at any point in time take it to that modification take it to those taps you can take it to one tap at a time or you can walk it out and walk it in more than halfway done here In through your nose and out through your mouth. And four, three, two, and we rest. Good job, guys. All right. We have one more time. One more time through, and then we're moving on to our next exercise. And four, three, two, let's go. As you start to fatigue, keep your form together. Hips forward, core tight, tap it out. We're pushing here. This is the last time we're doing this. One at a time if you need to. Four, three, two, Woo. and rest. Good job, guys. Next thing that we're gonna do, I'm gonna place the chair forward. You need your weights this. For this one, again, start light or no weight at all to warm up. We're starting with a squat tap, which means we're just gonna tap the glutes on the chair. You're gonna keep your weight directly in front of your, about your chest or your shoulders, palms facing forward. We're doing an Arnold press. So as we stand up, you're taking the dumbbells overhead, bring them back down, tap the booty, and bring it up again. Okay, so I'm gonna move back just a little bit. If you need to, if those shoulders start to get fatigued, alternate as your modification. Here we are, guys. Get ready. Let's prepare. And four, three, two, one. Tap it, bring it up. Make sure you're breathing. Inhale as you squat, exhale as you press. Go at your pace, but make sure you're tapping. We want a nice low squat here.
Five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Ooh. Walk it out if you need to. Get some water. Our rests are not long rests. So let's get ready to start over again. Less than five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Tap the hips. Bring it up. Tap it. Bring it up. Palms facing you as you stand up. Weight in the heels. Keep those heels connected to the ground. Keep that core engaged. Squeeze those glutes. You might be feeling those shoulders at this point. That's what we're here to do, guys. We're here to work. And whew, rest. Good job. We have one more time. Again, not much rest. In through your nose, out through your mouth. And five seconds to go. Let's get ready. Let's prepare. And three, two, one. Last 30 seconds of this one. After this, we're moving on. Make sure you're breathing. Remember, one at a time. If you need to, this is a great modification when you start to fatigue. Giving one shoulder some rest while the other's working. Three, two, whew, and rest. Good job, guys. All right, we're only dropping one dumbbell now. You can go, again, see where you are with the weight that you currently have. You can go a little bit lighter until you get comfortable. And then we're moving on. So what we're doing here, I'm gonna turn this to the side because all I'm using this chair for, for this exercise, is something to hang on to. If you're comfortable to do the exercise I'm about to show you without, feel free, but it is a compound movement and it might take a little bit of um, coordination. So if you need to hang on, please do. All right, so what we're doing here, I'll show you the modification first. Kick standing that leg back. Whatever leg is back, you're holding with the opposite hand because your dumbbell and your arm is gonna be doing work on the other side, right? So. What we're doing, we're hinging, meaning flat back, feeling the hamstrings. You're gonna fly it at the bottom, okay? Soft elbow, bring it out. As you stand up, you drive it up to an upright row. Elbow high and wide, okay? So you fly it, you stand it, you upright row. Now, more of a challenge, which is what you might need your chair for a little bit better here. Single leg, fly it to stand, down, Okay, so again, I know that's challenging. However, that's why you can kickstand it, take it to more of a single leg, um, to more of an assisted single leg. Here we go. Three, two, one. So I'll do a couple as a modification. We're gonna do, we're splitting this up. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Flat back, you're gonna feel the pull in the standing leg. I'm gonna start with more the challenging version for those who want to attempt and take it up a little bit more. Core tight. Isolate and feel that burn in the shoulder and in the upper back. And three, two, whew, and rest. Good job, guys. All right. We are going to go for muscle fatigue. So what that looks like, we're going we're gonna do it one more time on the same side and then we're gonna flip it around to do the same thing on the other. All right, a little bit of rest. Let's get ready. Four, three, two, let's go. So more of the modification. The weight is in that standing leg. That back leg is just there for some support along with your hand on the chair. If you wanna go for more of a challenge, you can take it to a full single leg. RDL, soft knee, Flexed foot and back. Whew. High and wide, upright row. Squeeze the glutes as you stand it up. Whew. Keep it going, guys. We're almost done here. Feel that burn. Three, two, and whew. rest. I don't know about you, but I felt that. Let's go ahead and take it to the other side. Two times through. 
and then we will take it on to something else. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Soft elbow as you do that reverse fly. Make sure that arm is not completely locked out. Use that hand on the chair for some support. Here's the challenge. Straight leg, and straight back leg, flex foot. Pull from the glutes. Three, two, and rest. Not long of a rest. Same deal again. Again, pull from the glute in that standing leg so you can really feel that pull going on. Here we go, guys. Last time through. And then we're going to take it to another exercise. And three, two, one. Let's work. Oop, I did a fly instead. <laughs> Upright row. Keep that core nice and engaged. there team hang tight and four three two whoo, and one good job y'all all right let's move on to our next exercise next one guys what we have going on we're going to take it to some bicep work all right a little bit of bicep work a little bit of more a little bit more quad work and a lunge okay this is another unilateral exercise this will probably be our last exercise of the day so what that looks like you can use your chair again just for a little bit of stability whatever way you need to you can hold it from the back or from the railing just make sure whatever you do have is nice and sturdy so we're taking it to a reverse lunge to a knee drive, okay? So this is here, again, here for support. If you don't need that support, feel free to do it without it. Hand on your hip if you don't need that additional assistance. So a reverse, reverse lunge, you're gonna take a step back. As you take it down to the ground, you're curling to a knee drive, okay? So this is, again, this chair is here to assist you with that drive, okay? Here we go. Less than five seconds, four, three, Two, one. If you want to turn this up a little bit, again, this is more of the modified version. Hang on to the chair, more of the challenge. You can do it without. If you really want to turn it up, you can add a little bit of a skip, hop in there, as long as you are comfortable and as long as you can control the weight. If you cannot do, if you're unable to control the weight completely, it's okay. And three, two, and one. Whew, good job. Same time on the other one side, the same side, and then we'll switch. This again, this will be our last exercise of the day. Um, yeah, pretty much it. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. Hold on to that chair. If not, again, hand on your hip, or you can even hold a dumbbell in both arms. Your choice. Again, here we go. Four, three, two. One, in your lunge, try to keep your chest up, okay? I'm just showing you from the side view. Take a good step back, curl it at the bottom, keep that foot flex as you drive up. Hold on to that chair for support, if you need it. All right, about five seconds. And three, two, rest. Good job. All right, guys. On to the last part. Opposite side. Two times through, which is just a minute left of work and our work today. And our workout today. Four, three, two, let's go. You got this, make sure you're breathing. Core tight, flex foot, 
Three, two, one. Take it out for a second. Ooh, walk it out for a second if you need to. All right, guys, almost done. Last 30 seconds. Five seconds to go until and four, three, two. This is it, gang. Let's work until the finish. Keep, the, keep that posture nice and strong, shoulders back. Try not to lean into your knee and don't swing the dumbbell, control it. In through your nose, out through your mouth. And three, two, and rest. We are done, guys. That is it. Forget fit where you sit. My name is Brittany Washington. Hopefully you had a good workout here today with me. Um, if you have any questions, please make sure you reach out. But other than that, guys, have a great, great, great rest of your day.